Police at the state capitol in Madison are in the midst of an investigation into what they call a blackmail plot involving child pornography. As we first reported last night, the pictures are an apparent attempt to push for tougher child porn laws in the state. This evening, Fox 11's Mark Leland has new details on one local legislator who received that email threat. Email attachments that included child pornography arrived at some of the legislative offices at the Capitol in Madison. There were several legislators, including myself, uh, that were basically the targets of, of an extortion attempt. Uh, Representative Tom Nelson of Kakana, who as assembly leader had a role in pushing through legislation, says his office received the email July 23rd and immediately notified police. There is uh, someone out there um, who needs some help, um, to say the least, um, and he's been using uh, very very offensive materials. Outgoing State Senator Alan Lassay of De Pere, who did not receive the child porn email, believes it could also be part of an election year smear campaign. I think this is more about political blackmail uh, for, um, for whatever reason. Uh, you know, we have elections coming up, and this could do some serious damage to someone's, someone's uh, campaign. Fox 11 spoke with investigators with Capitol Police in Madison. They say they can't tell us just how many legislators actually received the attachment email, but say the case is ongoing. And at this point, no arrests are imminent. Capitol Police are investigating with the Wisconsin Department of Justice, which sent out this email to all 132 legislators warning them of the child pornography attachments. It says the unknown sender's intent was to get the pictures on the legislator's computer as leverage to attain a desired legislative agenda. And lawmakers are being directed to not open any attachments or forward these emails. Both Republicans and Democrats say there has always been bipartisan support when it comes to pushing through tough child pornography laws. And it will be those same laws, they say, that will eventually put the sender behind bars. In Green Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. It also appears the emails were directed only to selected assembly members, although all 132 state legislators, assembly and senate, are being warned to watch their incoming emails.